you're here at Salvins. Hey, Arisers, what's arising? Welcome back to another episode of Sound Vent. I am so happy to be here today, and you guys are about to see why, because of course, I have a special guest. But before we get into this, I do want to give a quick shout out to our sponsors, Native Sun Studios, for sponsoring this video. If you have any studio recording or filming needs, all of their information will be in the description below. Now, we have a clerical assistant and a content creator as our guest today, and she is also a lovely friend of mine. Please welcome Jay. What is going on? Oh, girl, a lot, a lot is going on. <laughs> I'm not gonna I lie see. to you. How's everything going on with you? Everything copacetic, everything good. That's what's up. That's what's up. I'm glad to hear that. So you actually do quite a bit in your daily life. You, mm -hmm. like I said, you're a clerical aide. Yes. You, that's the nine to five. Yes. The, that's the nine to five. You're a content creator, not only if on I'm YouTube, not lazy. but yes. if you're not lazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not only on YouTube, but Instagram. And right? now TikTok. I'm with the young people. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm going to let you have that. <laughs> I'm, I'm with the young people with the TikTok. I'm going to let you have TikTok along <laughs> with everybody else because, um, yeah, that is just, that's 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 a different world right there. It depends. Yeah. Mine's, I, I say I'm, I like to do thirst talk. Like, I thirst over sexy. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah. Yeah, that's funny. That's yeah. funny. And you also play softball. Yes. That is something, girl. So. <laughs> girl, you, you got a lot of things going on. A lot, yet little to nothing. Because okay. when I have nothing, I'm just bored as hell. So, <laughs> which is well, weird. With that being said, we're not about to be bored with this topic. So, no. we're going to go ahead and dive into it. Oh, also, we do have our Instagram audience with us today. So, what is up, you guys? As always, I am looking for the commentary to come through. If you have any questions or thoughts for our guests that you want us to address, please do not hesitate to put them down. Now, with our topic today, yeah. does music help relationships or do they hurt them? What do you think? Hmm. Now, it depends. Now, when I think of music and relationships and like hurting and helping, you know that movie Nobody's Fool with Tiffany Haddish and Whoopi Goldberg? I've seen, I've, and, I know of it, but I haven't seen it. And at the end of the movie where the girl wants the guy back, so she plays Bended Knees by Boys to Men, like, cause she wants him back, that helps. So I'm thinking of songs like Bended Knees by Boys to Men, All Cried Out by 112 and Allure. Oh. I'm thinking of songs like that, see, cause I don't listen to like the new stuff nowadays because I don't think the new stuff could help. Like the new stuff could hurt relationships. Ooh, like ooh, like Cardi B. Shots. I love Cardi B. I love oh. I love Cardi B and like the WAP. Yes, oh. and but, like like that's like the only newer one. Don't don't get me started with like <laughs> the guys. I don't know much about them. That's funny. But like I listen to a lot of old school R and B stuff, mm -hmm. and a lot of the times that type of music. It could hurt. It could help you. It could heal you if you're single, like I am. It could heal you, and you're just like, damn, yes. Mm. And then, like, if you want your girl back, you just play like, like that boys to men, like yeah. song like that back in the day. The boys to men, that one twelve, yes, ninety eight degrees, the Backstreet Boys, <gasps> that you know, you girl, I know them. I I, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> and then. <laughs> It was just like, oh, yes. Hmm. But it's like, back then music was able to help. Yeah. But I'm not sure, like music now, like especially rap, sometimes they could hurt it with the whole F this and all that. And I'm just like, ugh. So what is the, what the so I guess that's the disconnection for you. Because I was going to, because I'm looking at what is the different connections that you have with music back then and music now. The, the fact that you feel like, Music, yeah. R and B don't have. I listen to music when it comes to like the, the 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 beat of it, like the beat, the mm -hmm. melody, 
if I could feel it in my soul. Because you know, like when you hear a really good singer and yeah. you get goosebumps, yeah. that happens with me. Like if I hear somebody sang, not sing, sang, sang. right? Or make you want to throw your shoe, <laughs> right? Because we ain't so, no Jennifer Hudson up here. Like, exactly. Like make you want to throw your shoe. <laughs> it gives you goosebumps or chills when you hear them sing. That That's what I associate music for. Mm. So it's, I'm all, I may not know the artist, but I know the music. That's like what I started listening to K-pop last year oh or a my. year and a half. And wait, how do you associate with K-pop? It's, it's, you it's, don't even speak Korean. I do a little. I'm learning. Are you? Oh, really? Yeah, I'm trying to teach myself Korean. No. Yes. Um, like my, my <laughs> dad used to say, music has no language. Music is the language. I can, I can agree. And music has no race. Because tell me a treble clef. What race is that? A oh, well, yeah. That's, that's in all uh, music. And the I only color that music have is black and white because it's on a paper. This is true. So, like. I do get that. Mm -hmm. I, I do get that. I just feel like it, it more succumbs to a certain ethnicity, though, when you break it, when you break down into different genres. Like, yeah, you can have white people in R&B and you mm -hmm. can have black people in pop, but you know, you also have black and rock, you know? So and I mean, actually black people did start rock and start, did start country and pop is just a short form of popular. So what race is popular? Listen, <laughs> so Jay has came to the spice today. <laughs> That's cause no, I'm very eclectic in my music selection and I, I don't, and I don't judge people. Like I believe don't judge anybody and to love all. Yeah. So it's like, I'm not going to sit here and judge you for what you do. It's just that I have a, like, everybody have a preference. That's the whole thing. So music, my, yeah. my preference in music, as long as I feel it, that's all that matters. I may not know the artist. I could, I, hell, I don't even know. Tina Marie. Nobody knew she was white. Who didn't know she was white? A lot of people. Remember back in the day, like, I read, <laughs> I read on the cover. I, I know read. when I was a baby. <laughs> no, I read that when she first came out. They didn't want to put her face. Rick James didn't want to put her face on the CD on the CD on the oh, record thing. Oh yes. So she could like have her what's the word anonymy? Anonymous? Yeah, yeah. She like, be anonymous. Anonym yeah. So it's like nobody knew she was white. Mmm. Or that um. I Lisa can, but I can see that mm -hmm. though because I'm sure a lot of people didn't know John B was white until you know he really just Lisa showed his face. Lisa Steinfeld like been around the world and I, 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 yeah yeah yeah, yeah I thought she was black until I saw the music video. You know what though I have to give you that one. Like, I have to give you that one. So <laughs> I have but, to give you that. But and it's a very white song anyway. <laughs> It's a very white song anyway. So, it, okay. So let's let's bag back just a tad. New bit. music could hurt depending on the genre. Okay. Trap All right. Rap. I don't you think trap rap could help help a relationship? So, I mean, listen, I do get that now. I I I don't let me let me speak from what all happened? perspectives what here. As far as trap rap helping relationships, I feel like if you are a female and you're really trying to be about that ride or die life, then yeah, heck, listen to trap music so they can encourage you to stay in in that life. in that yeah life in that life and in that yeah. foolery. But um, so I, <laughs> <laughs> she said foolery. You know, um, so I can't I can't even really say a solid no to that. But mm -hmm. as music has went through the years um as you said it was more helpful it was more healing back then mm -hmm. in 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 80s 90s early 2000s, 2000s and yeah. yeah and then till now where you feel as music is not so it doesn't help relationships depending because genre, it's yeah can we really say depending on genre because even this in some today r b songs they are kind of are there R and B promiscuous songs that, are, that are new, or they're just a that are or, new? They are that are. See what I mean? Like I don't even know what's out now. I have no clue. I'm listening to repeats. I have no clue. <laughs> there is not, but there's nothing wrong with that. But see, this is what I'm. So you have developed a disconnection with music today because simply, it doesn't, simply doesn't it doesn't have it any doesn't emotional touch. attachment no. to me. No. Yeah, per, that's pretty much what it is. And you have you have people who you can relate to 
you that's one thing but but actually feeling it like help relationships mm -hmm. something that you can listen to when just grab your man and slow dance in a room out of nowhere you mm -hmm. know like it's not really it doesn't i don't see only any like music. a handful yeah what? maybe i in the uber coming here that um like what's your name what you doing where you at that song what is um I know, I know. Bruno Mars. About. That Bruno yeah. Mars. Like, I, I, I found out about that song on TikTok. Where I found out a lot of new songs on TikTok. Leave, leave, leave the door open? I don't know the name. I'm gonna leave the door open. Yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> like, see, I'm learning songs from TikTok, right? It's amazing so, how TikTok really is putting people on. As far so as it's on. like, that's that's R&B. And that's like sexy, no? But, that, you, that, but that's Bruno Mars, though. Oh, Bruno okay. Mars just yeah, makes so. songs. He's, yeah. he's a complete old soul. He's not okay, really... Okay, so anybody new... What is that? That that I call him a boy. Bruno Mars is old with a twist of new. He's not new with a twist of old. Who, Jacquees, is he the one ja that said... Oh, Jacquees. Is yeah, he the one that Jacquees, said he was the queen of... The, the king, king of, of army. army in yeah, front of, like a queen. In front, <laughs> in front of... What's his name? Um, Keith Sweat. Like yeah. you don't say that in front. No. Yeah. Like and yeah. and I, all I heard is all he does is do remix of the long, old song. Yeah, pretty much. I, so, you know, that's see, squash. Like, that's, that's why I'm just thinking stuff like that. Even even with Jaquez though, he had bed. Um, he. Had, I don't think I heard. That was his biggest, I don't want to say it's his biggest hit, but that's kind of like really what the main one he was known for was B-E-D. So my B-E-D, you know. Uh, okay, maybe I've heard of it. Yeah, but mm -hmm. but this, this is an interesting fact here. Because as music has came down the line, as romance got out of music, no, mm -hmm. as romance, as romance faded away from music, from the majority of music, um, marriage and like romance and relationships has went down yeah because a lot of people like especially i claim not to be a millennial but i am a millennial I'm you like, are I'm a millennial <laughs> early the first millennial <laughs> right oh you want to break up millennial <laughs> <laughs> like there's Gen X, which ends at 84, and then you got 85, which I'm after that, but then Millennial's also in 82, so I'm 85. You know, it's all technicality, no. but whatever. I said what I said, and I meant what I all said. Right, all right, we go, we go, go with So, <laughs> go. early first Millennial, right? And, like, songs back in the day had meaning. Mm -hmm. And relationship, people used to, my parents got married after six months of dating, and they were married until my dad died. So oh, it's like, so, nice. so it's like, you don't hear stuff like that anymore. Yeah. And again, music back in the seventies, the sixties, the eighties were about relationships. Like, like you said, even so, though like, acid and hallucinogens was a big part of a lot of people, but we're yeah. not going to get on that. No, but go ahead. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> so it's like, as you said, relationships starts to people want it to be more free. Don't want to be structured to like society, societal norms and stuff yeah. like that. Even though I am kind of old school in that way, and I do want that type of love, but I do understand what you're saying. Like now, a day's music, which would hurt relationships because they're all about WAP, WAP, and yeah. stuff like. Granted, the beat is sick. I love the beat, and I would sing it, but it's like that's really not helping. It, I mean, it, it automatically starts off. There are some H O E S in this house, so. Oh, see what I mean? Like the mute, I can hear it right now. The whole oh, I love music. I love, I love the music. Like, <laughs> I can hear it. See, you will see me if you see me in the if you see me in MTA. You will see me with my headphones and and just if it is the beat, I was just start. That's me. Like yeah. I'm a Pisces. I just ooh, like. And I wonder, do people really realize this? You, and this is what bothers me. It's the fact that society complains about things like this, but do you see why it's like this? Do you see the, the changes mm -hmm. that has succumbed to... The, the, the way it was to, to the how, way it now? Yeah, to how women treat men and how men are reacting because of how we treat them. Like it's, I feel like music has a big part to play in that because music is so powerful and mm -hmm. people mistake the soul. how powerful music is. Mm -hmm. Right. And it, and it, it's, you know, we went through a whole anti-phase and thanks 
thanks to Rihanna. I mean, I'm just gonna go and put it out there. Don't get me wrong, like I I, I love Rihanna. So she needs to come out with new Riri music. fans, don't be trying to attack me, but it's true. She had a, a whole she exploded a whole anti phase. Be better have on. my money. And I mean, it's just <laughs> like we we went through a period where it's where it's like anti love and I don't need a man and man ain't the ish pussy cat dolls. I don't need a man to make it happen. Just get up to be free. I don't You're, need a man to make me feel good. Just get up, do my thing. Yep. See, you know eclectic I mean? in music. You, That's what you gotta be. I mean, but as as much as I love, I mean, yeah, in, in different kind is in different kinds of music, and this is what mm -hmm. I'm saying. It's just it's it, even just it wanna express sexual freedom. Pretty much telling you to it's okay to be a slut. Like you know, I I'm, I don't. I'm just wondering, do people really realize what's going on? And it's like, it's whenever you bring up these kind of topics, because this can be a touchy topic, mm -hmm. people want to get upset. Especially here in the West. You, what? <laughs> See, that's because I've been learning about the East Coast. East Coast, West Coast. Oh, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Eastern, <laughs> Eastern, <laughs> Eastern Hemisphere, <laughs> Western Hemisphere. Yeah. Like, but if you go over there on the Eastern side of the world, they're a little bit more reserved in their stuff. So well, it's like, the, well, we're mainly talking about U.S. because yeah. a lot of countries haven't hasn't really changed when, much mm -hmm. because they're very traditional and but they're very you know sticking to their culture. And, and I what, think people here in the in here in America they want to stick to societal norms so badly, but yet some people want to be free of it. Like they don't know. How about this? You just do you. Do what makes you comfortable, and don't care about what other people think or say. I know it's hard to to. <laughs> I know it's hard. It's better. It's easier said than done. But I'm not going to sit here and tell you what to do. But it's like in music, if you don't like it, turn it off. And but with, see, this is the thing, though. It's played so much, and it saturates the the the, the radio and the internet so much. You can't help but to hear it, and then mm -hmm. it becomes this trend. And you have a song that you don't like. That is, you had a lot of people talking. The WAP, for example, yeah. you had a lot of people talking about WAP and complaining about that. But then it was the no, number one on the Billboard charts because as it keeps playing, you're like, oh, there's some in this house. There's some. And it's kind of, oh, you know, good. You, and then you, of course, you get certified free, seven days a week. And everybody, and you know, you got the girls that's like, yeah, I'm a certified freak. And you know, it's just like the romance has went down because now we're, we're, we're attaching ourselves to this a, music, an image. Yeah, you know, and it's yeah. kind of just, it's kind of like we can't. It has become to a point where I feel like we can't listen to a song and let it go. We have to listen to a song and act on it. Yeah, people don't know how to separate. Like, when it comes to rap. Like, like I'm going to say Treyway, whatever. Um, Takashi. Takashi 6. Like, <laughs> Treyway. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Treyway. But go ahead. That's the only thing I remember in the colorful hair. Girl. But it's like, when they hear music and, like, rap music... That's not helping a relationship because they want to do things that play out on the street. And that's unless you want to be a trap queen, which what is a trap queen anyway? I don't know. But, um, a, yeah, a trap queen is pretty much when you have made money in the, in the streets oh. from, okay, from, yeah, drugs well, or, you know, okay. Well, that's not helping a relationship because the guy <laughs> will end up doing stuff in the street when he hear in the, like busting this and that and all, then you're gonna what? Get arrested. Now your man's in jail. You're alone. So then you're gonna end up listening to All Cried Out by Lauren 112. Listening to Uh Oh. And then he's like, I'm sorry, baby. And no, you can't come on. Like, you gotta pick a trade. Yeah, like you gotta, <laughs> you like, you wanna listen, you wanna be in the streets or you wanna be loved. And like music, and I think the 112 Allure song was what, in the 90s? So stuff like, I think hmm, music yeah. started to transition into more about the money than it was the feeling and the soul of it. I feel like music transitioned transition into an unnecessary wave of sexual freedom. And yes. I feel like it has mainly been on the women because even though... They try to get in there. Like, that was a way that they tried to be seen and that's unfortunate.
Yeah, and I'm I just I just yeah, and I feel like it, it just is saturated the media. And I feel like men has always been men to do like, whatever they want. You know, yeah, they're 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 who they are. They haven't really changed a, a a wave or a movement of themselves, but we have, and it makes the men react. Mm -hmm. If we didn't, if 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 women didn't react to in in the way that they are in music, or or just music in general, just being declined, I feel like you know we was just we took the reign of that. Mm -hmm. I feel like if we didn't do that, we wouldn't have had. It issues of decline of, of decline in romance. From romance, it's nah. I'm fifty fifty because I'm all about women empowerment, but I'm also old school. So it's like I have I'm always that I always teeter that fence. It's like yes, I want us like in sports. I want us to be seen and shown so the younger girls can see that yes, we don't have to just stay home barefoot and pregnant. But it's like also where is the romance and stuff like that and what like. Is quote unquote traditional can it what's the oh that's kind But it's not that you have to you don't have to stay home be bare for the and like and I get that mm -hmm. I get that 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 that's what the women now are trying to like you could do more than just And I get that and the fact that the point is is that you can do more but dial it dial the sexuality You can do back. more without being a whore. You know like that's pretty much what I'm saying here and and you don't have to count out men. Like it and it's and it's so funny though. I don't are how, there any songs out are there any songs out now where it's like romantic? You have a handful of songs out there. You really do. You it's it's a handful of songs, but they're not they're not being R and B They're not in the type. forefront. They're yeah. not in the forefront. They're not really in mainstream. It's only a handful and yeah, I mean, yeah, it, it, and so, it just it is what it is. So and, back in the day, music helped relationships. Not so much now. Yeah, not so much today. No. And but why have we become so easily influenced though? Like even with that whole anti thing, like why have we become so easily influenced of that? Who's we? I'm not speaking of you or me, oh, but as a, a, as I'm a like, whole, of, as but at, you do have to admit no. as the, as the entire <laughs> gender. <laughs> I was like, I was like who, who was we? As the entire gender, uh, as society, how come we have become so easily influenced in this? People want to I think they just want to be what's the word? Um, accepted. They mm. want to in today's society, like I never follow society societal norms. Yeah. So it's like I'm with you. I do, I don't care like. I'll just say I'll go out with a friend, even though it's a guy or boy. Like, I'll just say friend. Like, to me, it doesn't matter. You can go out with whoever you want. I don't, like, that's me. Yeah. But I think it's just more, they want to belong. Like, it's the trend now. They want to be relevant now. They they want to be seen, especially now. What is it called? What do they call Gen Z? The yeah. The baby people. Yeah, Gen Z. The, the fetuses, right? I'm sorry if there's any fetuses that are watching this. I'm sorry, my bad. But, um. <laughs> right it's all about technology <laughs> and like they want popularity right quick and you know what with all of that you just described in in, in those couple of sentences there you know what all of that leads to social media mm -hmm. which i'm vlogging right now <laughs> uh yeah all of that just leads down to social media but listen jay this has been a great conversation yes I have. Thank you so much. Even though much. we're like a little off topic here and there, but then again, it's like we got music, back on track. Music back in the day really helped music now. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. And you know, I just hope that it can come back around. I do hope that it doesn't go into a complete black hole. Music is a circle. What what was not popular back then becomes popular now. I, I hope and so. I hope it doesn't get too late. That's what I'm, I'm hoping that, job, you know, people will really wake up and realize and, you know, understand what is needed mm -hmm. and what is not. Yeah. So Like, we don't need a bunch of big Ds and WAPs and stuff. We just need love. Don't make me go biblical. I can go biblical. Like, it's like, not. It's, okay. So, with this, I'm, I'm saying this and I'm in this. There is nothing wrong with being 
a freak Yourself. or you know yes. or sexual like that no. but it's broadcasting it is the thing you know just a lady lady in the streets but a freak in the sheets you That's know really but cool. you know but now it's like a freak in the streets and a freak in the sheets I so don't it's get just that. you know I, so yeah <laughs> but listen wonderful conversation jay you did your thing thank you so much for coming on here i My appreciate pleasure. you so much listen you guys all of her social media will be in the description box below please check her out follow her and thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of sound bent and i will see you in the next one and also shout out and thank you so much to the instagram audience that tuned in today we don't we didn't have any comments today or questions but we did have quite a few people who tuned in so Thank you. Stay up, stay blessed, and stay arising. Peace.